hi loves thank you so much for visiting my channel i hope that you're having a beautiful and amazing day if you are new to my channel welcome and if you're returning thank you so much for the continued love and support um if you are interested in booking a personal reading or if the readings resonate and you would like to leave a tip or donation please find all the information that you need in the description box so you guys this is another channel message honestly it's like um I'm on fire with these channelings. I can't, I can't seem to turn it off and there I've gotten several different messages, but a lot of them seem to be connected, but it's, um, it's really drain, dr like extremely draining to me. Um, I just posted a reading about, um, and this is an ongoing story and a lot of these things I feel have been happening since last year and some of these things started to unravel around Leo season and, and now they're coming out even more now. Anyway, um, I just posted a reading about, you know, a divine feminine, a divine masculine who pretty much have been separated. And there's a lot of witchery, sorcery, secret societies, covens, all kinds of stuff. And it's so crazy because I'm, I'm channeling these things and I honestly... I don't know much about the stuff, um, which is why it's a little frustrating for me. <laughs> so what I want to do now is look to see um, what exactly is the energy of this divine masculine who perhaps is coming back towards divine feminine. Of course, you guys, this is a general reading. It is not going to resonate with everyone. Okay. Please, please do not try to take these messages if it does not resonate with you. Do not force anything to fit. Um, a lot of the situations that I'm picking up on, you guys, it, it's very heavy energy, okay? This isn't an energy that you want to force yourself to claim, okay? So let's just see. What is the energy of this divine masculine who perhaps has been connected to someone who may be coming back towards the divine feminine. All right, so we have the companion card here. Oh God. A bunch of cards just fell out. We have the companion card. I have the divine child, the destroyer card, the seeker card, and the trickster. You know, honestly, what I get from this is a lot of you, this masculine is for sure someone who was in a trickster energy. This person was very dark and they still could be. Something about you was extremely divine. Some of you, you may have a soul contract with this person where you're meant to have a divine child together. But this person, honestly, like they started out, I feel, as a trickster. Perhaps they wanted to be destructive or or destroy something in your life or they could have been or their companion they could have been connected to someone that was trying to do this to you and i think that as this person started to get a bit more truth and clarity about you and the situation at hand now this person is wanting to come in like the hero okay this is exactly what's happening okay but this person, for many of you, they have stolen something from you. Maybe it, it could have been time, energy. Um, they could have been draining you, you know, emotionally or, or whatever. But this person here, I feel like you have to be careful with this person, honestly. Um, and I'm going to use a tarot because I see the hero card here. The thief card, God, detective, and vampire. So... That narcissistic vampire like energy is definitely here. Okay. Like I said, for some of you, maybe this person has changed, but even if this person has changed, it just seems like it would be such a huge risk to deal with this person again, because this type of energy, you, you can't forget this type of energy. I mean, this, you know, it's like when somebody re reveals to you their dark side, you can't forget it. And I understand we all try to forgive, but truthfully, nobody ever actually forgets this person. And because there's so much confusion happening right now in the collective, which is being done on purpose. 
it's hard to see was this masculine were they under the influence of something that made them sort of act in this way towards you or is this really their energy because for some of them they have been under some type of dark influence for a very long time I'm not, I don't think that they, you know, when you met this person, most likely they weren't a saint. You weren't either. But for some of you, this person, for some of you, this person, they have actually been destroyed by someone that they were dealing with. This companion card and the destroyer card here, their connection to someone else has played a huge role in how they acted with you. I mean, and I, I, I get it. Like there's... It's easy to say, well, there's no excuse for it. But some of these people, like in the reading that I, I literally just uploaded, some of these um, masculines have been connected to karmics, you guys, who are part of secret societies and covens, and they do a heavy magic with all kinds of stuff. They're, they're paying all these people to do all of this heavy magic. Some of you have been experiencing bad luck for so long, and it's... I really feel intuitively that for a lot of you, you've experienced a lot of really awful and dark things with a masculine. And a lot of it was because of who they were connected to. It was because of their companion. It was because they had a relationship with someone that they had a, a child with. Some of you, your, your masculine is narcissistic, but they connected with, I mean, a, a, a serious narcissist. They, some of you, your masculine may have narcissistic traits, but no, they're with like a, an actual narcissistic, like psychopath who is completely gone crazy. And my thing is, you know, to be, to get in so deep with this type of person, this masculine had unhealed wounds or they were greedy or whatever the case is. They let this person get very close to them. They've, you know, they've been sleeping with this person. They've had a child with this person and they've been in this trickster and they got with this person because they knew that this person was a trickster like them they went looking for a trick they they chose to be with this trickster like energy instead of being with you but they didn't realize that that person that they were going towards were actually completely like destroy them that's what i'm getting this energy is so heavy. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. I just want to know um, <laughs> what are the intentions of this divine of this masculine? I don't know if he's divine or not. Hangman. I don't know you guys because I see the hangman here and I see the ten of pentacles. Five of pentacles, five of cups, four of pentacles. It's still, like I said, you can't really trust this person because this is something that looks really, really good. But who's to say that this masculine energy isn't trying to sacrifice you for money? I'm also getting energy here too. This is a, a side story. But I was picking it up earlier in a reading. But I didn't want to really go down that rabbit hole with it. For some of you, this is like a father figure. This is like a, your actual father. With this um, divine child card being out here. For some of you, your father, whether your father has been in your life or not, has really... I don't know, like if they married like an extremely evil person. And they're like trying to leave you out in the cold from the family or steal something from you. Or they're trying to sacrifice you in some type of way. 
or or just get calls like issues or delays and you I just don't understand. It seems like so many of the divine family, like there is this this hatred that's out here. I mean, King of Swords here. These people are con people. They're very corrupt. Like they are they have no emotions. They don't care. I mean, it's terrible. I don't so, I mean, this is a masculine energy. Like I said, I don't, for some, this could be a father. Six of Wands came out, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Page of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Again, there's a child here. Spirit keeps telling me this about a dad. Somebody has a dad here. Or this is the father of your child or something. The six of wands though. Um, somebody here is, is giving praise. I'm hearing giving praises and offerings. I don't know if this has something to do with church. I don't know. Somebody here is giving praise and offerings, maybe for some donations or something. Somebody is paying out money to someone and it's confusing them or it's confusing you. So in other words, somebody is, is giving you something that could be giving you something that they stole from you. Somebody could actually be giving you your your money. They could have stolen something from you. And this may be very confusing to find out. Who is actually betraying you? It's just so much betrayal. I mean, I'm I'm getting messages about the karmics and there's 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 parents betraying people. There's people in the family. It's whew. Y'all, I think I need to take a break soon. <laughs> Ace of Swords. Yeah, this is the truth. There's a sword of truth that's coming here. Eight of Pentacles. For some of you, this is something, this is about something um, or someone that you work with. But for some of you, again, this energy where someone has been working diligently on a plan for a very long time to come towards you, to disrupt your energy, to disturb you, for some to even try to take something from you or to hurt you even. Yeah, temperance. I'm hearing, you know, some of you, you feel like you need to sleep with one eye open. You need to make sure that you are very balanced and grounded right now because there is a lot of confusion. What is this confusion about? And it's so frustrating to me because in the readings, whoever these people are that's doing a lot of this stuff, I have to be honest. They are cloaking themselves so well. That it's really hard to see who's doing what. There's groups of people that are doing things. But I, I honestly feel that for a lot of people who are dealing with groups of people who are doing things. These people are going to start to turn on each other. Because in every reading, the blame is being put on a different person. It's like one reading gets the mom. The, the next reading gets the dad. The next reading gets your masculine. The next reading gets the karmic. It, this energy and it's the same situation it just seems like it's and i've been saying this for several weeks it's like five to seven different people who are all involved in this situation look at this i can't make it up seven of cups being clarified with the magician card this is all somebody here is using magic to manipulate someone's mind someone is using magic to manipulate someone's mind okay six of wands they're giving you praise. They're, they're telling you that you're victorious. You're successful. They're proud of you. They're happy for you or whatever. But this person here is someone who is around you. This person acts like they are a God or, or they come in like they, they're your hero after they cause this chaos in your life. This hero card is here. Like they want to be your companion. It's just, oh. You walked away from this situation, though. You walked away from this situation and you started, you just started over. You decided to do things that would make you happy because you were tired of being confused here. You realized that you could get yourself out of whatever this 
cycle is with a person, but whoever you walked away from, they, they don't care. Look, see, they, exactly. Nine of Pentacles here. You're fine on your own. You realize that this person couldn't give you what you wanted. And so you walked away from the situation. But whoever this masculine is, they don't want, they don't want me talking about them. Which makes me wonder, is it the masculine that's really behind all of this? Or is it the karmic or is it both of them? Or is it a mom? Is it a dad? Who is it? Because every single time I start to ask about this masculine, the reading goes in a different direction. Every time. I've been noticing it. Every time. And that's why I'm saying it. It's several people here because one reading is clear. It's like, okay, you've got a best friend or a mother sister cousin whoever but every time we get on this masculine something about this masculine is off i don't know if this masculine is a high level magician himself or what but the confusion is always around this i'm asking what are the intentions of this masculine spirit is talking about other stuff right now i don't know why this is such a secret eight of wands communication here's the eight of wands and the ace of wands that's what I'm, I'm saying somebody here is some type of sorcerer conjurer or something somebody here has a way of communicating some of you this could be a lot of telepathic communication that you're having with someone look at this i'm telling y'all all i keep getting seeing and hearing is there are people you guys who are doing some type of rituals there, this is an old school witch who's got a group of people out and they're all doing rituals and they're like, well, something here isn't working out and they keep trying to make do more stuff. Somebody here is they're constantly trying to reverse whatever they've done. Look at these people. I don't know who or what they are calling on or what type of demon entity or whatever they're working with. I don't know if these people are doing blood rich i don't know but these people are under the moon and look at them they're all here gathered around together and it's like here here's the wheel of fortune and the page of pentacles somebody is trying to change somebody's destiny like somebody's faith or whatever here the death card the hierophant the lovers the four of wands the ten of i can't make this up it's a This union, somebody knows that as soon as something is over, somebody is going right into a union or they're trying to, it's like, I don't understand why or how so many people could be against whatever this connection is. Y'all, I mean, it's who are these people? Please somebody tell me who is this your story? Is this like, a? Uh, a select who is this i mean there are a lot of people actually resonating with this story because i'm telling you i've never seen so much energy so many blockages all about one connection this is this is all about two people who want to be who are trying to be together actually these two people are not trying to be together these are just two people who are connected they're not i don't even whoever this feminine and mass if you notice the feminine is not coming out in these readings other than her being chill her walking away from a situation and being totally away from it but you have the detective here there are people steady watching this feminine this feminine does not know who she can trust here because everybody around her seems to be looking for information, trying to trick her, falsifying information, trying to drain her of her energy. Some people are running around talking about God when they're actually thieves. People are coming in playing like they're her companion or her friend or lover when they're all really out to destroy her. They're playing the hero. And what is it all because... She's divine. I'm, uh, th there has to be more to it. Tell me more about this divine, this masculine spirit, please. <laughs> Nine of 
Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. This is someone who is fighting, trying to be resilient. I do feel like for some of you, this person wants to come back in, but it's the outcome is just going to be different for everyone. This person is fighting to try to come back in because I feel like they're having an epiphany just like you. It's just what does this look like on the other side after all of this is over? What does this look like? You see how the car, now that I'm asking about the masculine, nothing will come out. The cars, they won't fall. You know what I what I think, and honestly, I did a reading earlier, and something was like, "Don't post it." I've done like three readings, and something keeps telling me, "Don't post it." I feel like right now there are things that are happening in the background. The masculine, whoever it is that I'm picking up on and channeling for whomever, this masculine does not want whatever their plan is to be out. That's that's all I can think of here. They don't want this information out. Just period. I did a reading a few months ago and I was saying, especially for tarot readers, maybe I need to take my own. There are masculines out there. If, if you have any type of platform, if you talk to a lot of your friends, there's a masculine who's saying, stop talking about this situation. Don't say anything. I feel like the more we share, the more we talk about, it's messing up this masculine's plans. There, there are th either it's the masculine or it's a father figure. It's a, a passed on loved one, an angel ancestor. Somebody does not want this information out. They don't. Nope. The chariot. You can go this way or you can go that way. King of wands. This king of wands, whoever this masculine is, they know which direction that they're going. But, and check this out. What? The strength card and the high priestess. Somebody is saying, I feel like this masculine is saying here, you need to refrain from sharing anything that you know as far as any hidden knowledge or information about various situations that concern this union. This masculine, there's a masculine here who's, <laughs> he's frustrated with this feminine. He's saying, don't stop trying to figure this out. Just know that it's been, know that some, there's a fight happening here. I guess he can, he's saying he can defend himself, but he's saying, stop. Don't worry about this anymore. And if you do worry about it, don't share anything or talk about it. The, the, here is the, the seven of wands, the knight of wands and the moon with the five of wands i'm t i'm telling you this is the same energy from earl from the reading earlier this masculine is saying there's nothing more for you to talk about or worry about in this situation all i can say is this masculine is saying don't worry about what the outcome is just know that i got it that's all th that's all this this person is saying i'm literally i'm hearing a masculine just who's like listen you want you said you wanted to trust me trust me Stop asking me what's happening next. I see what's going on just like you see what's going on. Just be quiet. Sit back. Chill. Relax. Stop talking about this. Okay. Love. Money. Frivolity. Wife. Listen. With the soldier card here. I'm telling you. I think I'm going to just pretty much leave it here. Lo nothing here is bad. And and I'll, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm, I am I keep looking for something bad. I'm, I'm serious because it's so secretive. I'm just like, wow, it has to be something bad. You have the love card. The wife card is out here. Money. Frivolity. This person is saying here, a relationship here can blossom. This person is out fighting. Something here is, there's this, this is spiritual warfare. Someone is fighting for a connection or some type of situation here. Someone is also trying to protect their assets that they have already. But yeah, gift. Nothing is bad. I'm asking about this mask. I'm not seeing anything bad. And I, again, this will not resonate with everyone. Okay. There are some masks who are up to absolutely no good. That I, who knows? They could be influencing these ratings to make us think that they're doing something good. All I can say is that everyone is just going to have to use their discernment in this situation and let whatever this situation is just blow over.
you're gonna have to just wait to see somebody has a, a hidden enemy that may be going to jail yeah prison enemy friend and thought merchant somebody here was greedy somebody wanted to be in a trickster energy someone could have possibly stolen something from someone someone tried to, could have tried to steal this connection from from someone somebody is getting in trouble yeah pathway i'm telling you i'm not getting anything negative i'm seriously again everybody chooses their own path you accept whatever fate comes with this situation but for some of you i'm telling you this person this masculine is coming in with some news some information about some things and it's going to blow your mind i think it's going to be it, i feel like it may get bad before it gets better I can say that you're going to like the information that comes out. There's destruction here. All right. There is destruction. Yeah. But divine feminine is safe here. Divine feminine energy. It, you're safe. I remember I had a, um, again, this was back in like August. And I remember I had a huge download and I kept channeling that um, Drake song, you know, when he's like, I'm outside in the AMG and that song where he's like, um, you know, I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know, a different environment. Y yeah, like it it's like he this person is saying, I know you have desires. I know what you expect of me. I know. I know that we're supposed to be on this journey. I know that you want marriage. I know what you want. You want something courthouse that's solid. It's secure. It's stable. You, I know you've been waiting on this. I know. You don't trust this. Madison, he's, you don't trust me. Well, I'm going to show you better than, than I can tell you this time. Expectation. Look, message of concern some of you have been you're like listen if you're not coming in with everything then don't come in at all but what is courtship you have here thief lovers false person i'm telling you somebody somebody really tried to sabotage this connection and just like i said in the reading earlier this masculine was not always on the up and up that's how they got their greed their addictions, their lifestyle, it got them caught up with the wrong person for the wrong reasons at the wrong time. You walked away from this situation. You created abundance for yourself. You are the main female and you are having an amazing come up right now. Sudden wealth. Okay. Some of you moved a distance away from this. Like you started your life over. This masculine is dealing with karma and facing judgment and is now saying they're trying to get themselves out of something but they're taking it really personally because some of you the trickery that has come to you is all because of this masculine I should have put you somewhere where no one can find you. I literally, I, I had a full reading where I was channeling that song. Um, hold on. Because I would have to see the lyrics. You got desires. I know. I know. Yeah, it says I should have put you somewhere where no one could find you. Mansion out in the sticks. Nothing around you. Katy, Texas, Dallas, Texas. You know a different environment because you've got desires. 
It says, you got that fire and I'm not a liar. You had me down on my knees every day, had to talk with Messiah. Okay. I tried to pay all your loans off and cop your driver. I had you staying too close to the city. You acting too vulnerable living this life. I should have moved you away from Houston before I copped you all this ice. You want to be my number one. You're not acting like the main thing. I let you play my number two. You barely made the second string. I'm telling you, whoever this is to you. Oh, this is so frustrating. Who is this per This person? Is this a celebrity? Like, are you guys dealing with like really wealthy people or some or people who are just a part of a certain lifestyle? Because... The, and literally this person is like I need to hide you or I should have hidden you because they got you caught up in something that they regret now it says self control has never been your thing don't think it'll help if there's a ring with a rock in it I see you back in Turks remember you took remember who took you there first and don't you forget it Got you a whip, but then you get back on your shit. Some of y'all, I'm telling you, you're dealing with somebody who has money. This person is high profile. This person has been watching you. This person has been watching you, but they feel like they should have done something. They feel like they shouldn't have ever dealt with whoever they dealt with that is probably targeting you now. But they really are trying to come in to make this thing work. Yeah. They have a friend who is up to no good. This person has a friend around them. Or you have a friend. Both of you could have friends. People have been around you and this person for all of the wrong reasons. They took a risk with someone. For money, sex, pleasure, whatever. They took a risk. And it has backfired. They, this person does, for some of you, this person does not want to get you hurt. Conversation is here. Death, reunion, and then child, cheerfulness. I'm telling you, there's an ending happening here. There is an ending, a new beginning, a reunion. You and this person are going, to, this child could be a, just a new beginning. Some of you will have a child. And it's cheerfulness. I mean, the cards don't lie. You, you guys know, you guys watch tarot. You're familiar with the cards that's in these decks. The negative cards are not coming out. The, the cards, the energy, it doesn't lie. I don't know what's happening for Thanksgiving, but I'm t somebody is just like, no, something here is over. This feminine has been set apart. She's protected. She's out of the way. And this masculine is saying, be, shh, be quiet. Don't worry about it. I got it. But I feel like the feminine, you can feel his anxiousness or anxiety because I pick up an underlying, there's this underlying fear. Like he's saying he has it, but He's up against something that he doesn't really know if he can pull off, but he's doing everything in his power to do. It. I'm, some of you guys, when you, if, if, and for some of you, when you come together with this person, the stuff that they're going to tell you that they, they did to get back to you, it's going to blow your mind. That's if they ever even talk to you. They may not want to tell you anything about it because it's that deep. And for some of you, it's a little dark. Yeah. Alchemist. Some of you, you're dealing with an alchemist. This person has a lot of power and knowledge about different things, including magic. I keep saying whoever this is, if they can't get something done, they know someone that can get the job done. All I can say is that this masculine that I keep channeling, this man is going to have his way. Artist. Some of, I just want to say, for some of you, this is an act. This is this has this is a celebrity. Is, I mean, there's some type of artist for some of you, and they see you as a healer, as a goddess, 
you make this person feel forever young. I'm literally hearing Jay-Z and Beyonce forever young playing in my head so loud right now. You make this person feel forever young. No matter what they've, no matter what has happened in their life, good, bad, or ugly, you make them feel forever young. And they are not going to stop at anything to have you. Period. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm hearing this song playing so loud in my head right now. Forever Young. I, I think that that's what it is here. You're, you're healing. You're a goddess. You're a queen. You're everything that this person wants and needs. But they, they, they played you. This person's life caught up with them. But here's Constance. I think that. In a way, you never really gave up on this person. Even if you said you did, you sort of been just like, I told you this would happen. You know, that's what I'm getting. Let's say she's standing there with her hand on her hip like, I told you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm saying this, but for some of you, this person, there is a darkness about this person because I'm hearing the song playing in my head right now. And I, I know he, he constantly says, um, do you want to live forever? This person, for some of you, this person is very spiritual. They're very spiritual. You make them feel immortal or they want to somehow do something i don't know this there is something dark about this person i, I won't th yeah there is something dark about this person um what's i'm hearing jay y'all i'm telling you i keep hearing jay-z and drake that's all i'm hearing is jay-z and drake and i'm hearing even now the jay-z and beyonce song um, what is it on the run like the on the run part two and she's like you know who wants that perfect love story anyway cliche cliche that's what I'm saying like this is a real jacked up situation here I won't I won't lie to you it is who wants that look at the phone going on who wants that hero love that saves today and in the song he says you know what about the bad guy goes good and the missing love that's misunderstood black hourglass hourglass toast to cliches in a dark past toast to cliches in a dark past boy meets girl girl perfect woman Who wants a perfect love story anyway? That's all I can say because for some of y'all, this person, they really may actually be. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't pick that up. <laughs> they may be on the run. Oh my goodness. This person may be on the run, you guys. I did not. I don't know why I didn't pick that up before. Duh. Some of you, you have a person that's on the run or they may be on the run soon and they want you to be with them. Or while they were on the run from something they could not stop thinking about, however it goes. Some of you, I'm telling you, you're dealing with somebody who is some type of artist. This person has some type of dark past. In the song where he says, you know, my past ain't pretty, my, my lady is, my Mercedes is. Yeah. Y'all, I'm telling yeah, this, this guy here is into something. There's a certain type of lifestyle. He may not be into it now, but he was at some point. He has some type of karmic debts or something to repay. And I feel like he, you may not have been down with the whole Bunny Clyde type of situation. And he may have gone towards somebody who was into some things with him. That situation is not working out. 
but everything in the dark, it, it comes to light. There's a lot of things from his past that was done in the dark that's now coming to light. However, he is madly in love with you. He still wants to be with you. I just, I don't know if he's going to try to turn you. I don't feel like this person is still in like a devilish energy. I just feel like there's, this person is still trying to fight off a lot of devilish energy. And I mean, everyone goes through that. So I, I don't know, you, you can't really, you can, but I mean, perhaps you shouldn't try to hold this person's past against them. Y'all, I'm telling you, this person is trying to like take you away. This person wants to hide you. <laughs> what is this? Is this person on the run and witness protection? They want you to go with them? Because that's what I'm picking up here. Seriously. All of the readings that I've been getting today is it's some crazy. Like this is looks like a serious movie. You guys are connecting with somebody who is high profile, could have been involved with some dark stuff, and it's coming out now. I'm talking about magic, money, all kinds of stuff. But this person, they want you with them. You don't have to be, okay? You don't have to get pissed off at me. I, I'm not saying you need to be with this person. I'm just saying this is the energy. Somebody is... is there is a masculine here who's willing to trade everything to be with you. And they've planned this. And I believe that that's why this masculine wants me to let you know that they are thinking of you this way, but they do not want the details of this situation to come out. And it's not about you. It's they don't want karmics and other people to know what their moves are. I'm going to really, I'm trying to tap out of this energy. It just has been really hard. It keeps coming, coming up, coming out. Um, I may take a few days off because this masculine, he, he doesn't want any of this information getting out. This could be something that's coming up in the next few days. This seems urgent, but I, every time I, I record, I, I have like five videos and Spirit is keep saying don't upload that. But every time I bring the cards out, it's the same or this a similar it's the same situation. It's just different parts of the same situation. The good thing though is divine feminine, if it's you that's watching, you're protected and you've been set apart. Your angels, your guys, your ancestors, this divine masculine. Some of you have more than one masculine around. You have a past person. and Everybody is, it's like divine feminine. Everybody is against you. Or it seems like everyone is against you. But I don't think that you realize how many people are actually protecting you as well. That's, that's the big thing. It, it's, you, it's easy to talk about who all is against you. But your protection is much greater than all of your enemies. You can tell in all of these readings, the divine feminine, she's 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 the converse, she's the, the topic of conversation, but she's not involved in any of this. She's not. Not at all. Divine feminine is somewhere now cooking, um, cooking, drinking or wine hanging out enjoying days off and work or whatever everybody else is going crazy i almost said ape shit which is another jay-z and beyonce what the fuck? <laughs> am i talking about jay-z here like is this jay-z and beyonce out here or are y'all the next jay-z and beyonce coming up is this what this is is somebody a part of the illuminati like seriously i shouldn't ask y'all to put it in the comments because i know you're not going to tell me if that's the truth but i'm some this must be like an actual recording artist a celebrity or something yeah I, it's gotta be i don't know it doesn't have to be but <laughs> the 
the Lord card. That's an important person. Sending a message. The scholar card. There's a very, there's an important message coming from an important person. It's going to somebody's house. Somebody is taking a journey to someone's house soon. To deliver, deliver. For some of you, you know what's crazy? Like my visions, for some of you, you somebody is going to, um, what am I trying? Somebody's going to send a driver, like a car to pick you up. Whoa, this is getting kind of weird. This is a lot. Some of you, somebody is going to have someone to come pick you up. I was going to say somebody's about to be picked up by the police. <laughs> that could be somebody's story. But I'm getting for some of you. There's a car that's going to come to your house to pick you up. This masculine is sending a car to pick you up. Now, I don't know where they plan to take you. You may not want to go. Let me ask. Wrong deck. Nine of Cups. Listen. <laughs> Nine of Cups. It doesn't seem like it's a bad meeting. Nine of Cups. Look, Seven of Pentacles. Two of Cups. King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. There's a, listen, there's a masculine here who's about to send for you. This person is, is either about to book a flight or send a car. Maybe both. They want to meet up with you. They want to take you somewhere. I'm seeing pe I'm seeing somebody here on a plane. I'm seeing someone pull up to an airport in a car. And you're getting in like one of those like private charter planes. That's what I'm seeing, honestly. This person may give you flowers. This person wants to give you look the king of pentacles though. This king pen. <laughs> Take it however it resonates. This person's got the cake, the wine. Some of you, maybe it's your birthday. This person's wanting to celebrate something with you. Page of Swords, they've been watching you. Yep. They've been watching you a lot. And they have other people watching you too. And now they're saying, well, they want to get away with you. Because they want to make you an offer. Some of you, this person wants to make you... Some of you, this person, they want to propose. Just... Maybe that's why he, maybe this mess is like, would you shut up? Damn, I'm trying to propose and you keep telling my business. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Good grief. You have your old woman and servant. Maybe there's an old woman who's a servant. He's serving y'all some food. No, it's that same bitter, crazy lady that's been coming out in all the readings. This old woman here who was, you know, there's an old woman here who's probably been feeding somebody something, feeding this masculine some food or somebody from his past or something to keep him stuck. She's probably been doing magic on him, trying to steal something from him. But you have here the prison and the enemy card that came out with this old woman and servant. Okay. Now, we have not had any of this energy about this masculine. This energy is now around this old woman. This old woman could be an, an elderly woman, a mature woman. Some of you, you're dealing with a masculine who's been dating a woman that's older than them. Or this could be someone's mother. This could be a witch. Something here. Whoever the enemy is, though, is going to jail. So, for some of you, once this person is eliminated, this witch, false, fake friend, family member baby mama whoever this masculine is coming towards you with some type of proposal yep look at that service 
what did I say? Somebody's somebody's coming. You see this man here? Open up the door. Somebody is going to be pulling up to your house, opening the door, saying, get in. Your chariot awaits. Somebody is just waiting for this drama to end. Yeah, they've been praying for you. This person, oh my God. Listen, consolation. This person has been praying for you. You think this person is a is a dog, but they're actually quite loyal to you. They just have had to work something out. You have here wedding and then sweetheart. Behind all of this good stuff is the foe. I'm going to leave it there. I, I hope they gave somebody some clarity. I don't know. If y'all out here dating celebrities and stuff, you know. Y'all can invite me to an event or something. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah, spirit is taking care of this, y'all. Whatever this is, spirit is taking care of it. There, spirit is working right now to eliminate whoever this person is that has been trying to oversee your connection to ruin something here. And as soon as it happens, this person is going to be coming in for you. At the bottom of my deck is the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you make someone really happy. And the Ten of Wands, as soon as a burden is dropped, this person is coming in and they want to offer you everything. Yep, three of wands. You can expect this to come in. And there could be travel. Yep, the tower. And the justice card. Yeah, when somebody goes to jail or they get busted or whatever happens, this devil energy here. Somebody wants to come in and make you an offer. Ten of swords. Oh, God. See, this is why I shouldn't keep digging. I should have just left it where it was. Because for some of you, you still have to be careful. Because this person, this masculine. Oh, sh yeah. <laughs> I just need to put this out there. Okay, yeah, I, I can feel this all in my bones, as they say. As the old people say. For some of you, you still have to be careful because it's masculine. For some of you, it's it's split here. This person is still a trickster. They may come in, propose, and try to offer you the world. And they still may betray you. I say everybody just go home, take a nap, and don't deal with anybody right now. Because we don't know what's going on. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. <laughs> See, look, there's, there's the, the, the coven, the secret society, the witches. They don't know what's going on either. Look at them stressed out. They don't know because divine feminine is out of the way. They don't know what's going on either. Look at divine feminine. <laughs> divine feminine is at the beach in the middle of the fall, winter, chilling. They don't they don't even know where you are. Location turned off and everything. They're stressed out though. Four of swords. Three of swords. Ooh. If it's an old lady that's been out here doing a bunch of spell work, this person may have a heart attack. This is what I got. This person literally may have a heart attack. This magic may backfire so bad that this person has a dang stroke or heart attack. Yep. Yep. Look at that. The moon and the star. Playing around with magic, it's going to backfire. Somebody's going to have a freaking heart attack or a stroke. Because this magic is going to backfire. Full card here in the hermit. Ace of cups in the sun. Queen of cups. Yeah. Okay, I'm sticking with my decision. With how I felt. Like I said, the story is going to be different for everyone. For a lot of you, let's just say 50 50. For a lot of you, this masculine, this masculine wants to start over with you. And based on what I see here, like I said, for some of you, this masculine, they do want to start over and they have good intentions. For some of you, they don't. You're going to have to discern for yourself. But I have the fool card here, the hermit, the ace of cups the sun and the queen of cups for some of you this masculine they have been planning to come towards you the whole time it may look like a bunch of crap but they actually mean it then for some of you um the karmic 
whether it's a karmic in your life or their life or whomever, that person may be sick. They may go to jail. Something crazy is going to happen to them. Spirit is working on whoever is this third party interference between you and this person. And, and, and once that person is eliminated, whatever happens from there, that's totally up to you. Some of you, this masculine, especially if you're dealing with a masculine who has a bunch of money, they may sweep you completely off of your feet and still betray you. But I don't really get that feeling. I'm, I'm basing this now off of the feeling that I have. I don't feel like I feel like a lot of you, this masculine is going to actually do right. Like whatever has happened, it has them. So they've learned their lesson. <laughs> After all of this hell, they have learned their lesson for sure. This is somebody with money who's a player who's done the worst stuff. They've been a trickster. They've played a lot of games. This masculine that I'm picking, they will settle down with you. They will be faithful. They, listen, they will come home. You will get tired of this. This masculine is tired for everything that he's had to go through. Everything that's been done to him, he's tired. He's turning in his player's card for sure. Like he'll, he will let you burn it is what I'm getting. But in the meantime, in between time, whoever these karmic people are, they're about to burn. Seriously. And divine feminine, honey, just take a trip and a nap. Eat good. I don't know. Just stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, divine feminine. Okay, you guys, I'm going to leave it here. I may take a day or two off <laughs> so that I can, I want to stop channeling this person because this energy is confusing. They want me to tell you something, but not too much. I don't know. Anyway, I love you guys. I hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity and insight. Always go within so that you never go without. Test and discern any and every spirit that comes your way. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.